You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Are you? A calm and reasonable person. In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. Fruit throws, Doctor. Relax. You got some pretty small shoes to fill. Mom and I are here for you. Even when you're here. Throated. I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. Nary a lost step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? So, what part of the enormous wall made you think, oh, visitors must be welcome? My father helped whisper their souls into these. And before he died, he passed them on to me. Should I bring him a crown, Ned? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? But you, but you called him the destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, way to, to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. When, when my son was born, born shut up! <laughs> the skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt on me. By fire, her heart. Combine them, you get Ragnarok. There was an old man who chopped wood for his village. Every evening he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy and he grew weaker as time went. And one day, he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. And he, he called for death to come to him. And when death arrived, he... You're a good boy. Brave boy. Fast and strong. But you can rest now. Okay? I'll be okay. You can let go now. You have to let go. Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding elf? Sounds like a mine, aye. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their mines did burst black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivanting. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay then, your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any, anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? <laughs> hey, to collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? There's still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? 
answer me. I guess we'll settle for blood. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. Was so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. I still feel its pull. You want nothing else when you're near it. And away from it, you're only biding time until you can drink again from the light. But then again, the light does not make good food. All elves are the same. Stubborn, brainless as moths, blinded by their light. I know better now. I looked into the shadows, and there I found my people. We wish this camp kept secret. Understood? Good. It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Ratatosker. The one you know as Ratatosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I smell lean worm on you. <laughs> I do, it stinks. Quit messing around and come ring the chime. Yep. The, uh... All Father saved us from the desolation. Gave us a safe place to settle, but... We don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You... you don't know magic, do you? I should have thrown you to the wolves right after I pulled you out of your mother! Her advisor, and friend, counselor to the Vanir, and yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? Glad you've come back to us. Somewhere here in the Holt. He'll be glad to see you. More than we could have hoped for. We're tending the wounded here, but others have begun to set up camp further in the Holt. You started this war! Finish it! Are you paralyzed by fear? Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. is to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. <laughs>